Hey everyone, welcome back to the House of Kit Kenya. Today I have something super cool for all of you DIY enthusiasts. We are going to be creating our very own bucket hat pattern from scratch using just newspaper because I think it is a fun and budget friendly way to like customize your fashion projects. Um, this does not mean you cannot use the normal pattern paper, okay? So let's jump right into the video. So before we get started, let's go over the materials that you will need. So number one, you will need a few sheets of newspaper, obviously, or pattern paper. You're going to need a ruler or a tape measure, a pencil or a pen. Today I'm going to use a marker so that you guys can see. Um, you're also going to need paper scissors, glue or tape, you know. So if you have everything, let's just get started. First, we need to measure the circumference of your head where the hat will sit. Okay, so grab your tape measure and wrap it around your head just above your ears, okay? And then you write down that measurement because it is the key to making a hat that fits perfectly. So mine was 23 inches. Next, I'm going to fold the paper like so. Just look at what I'm doing. So I'm going to fold it into four parts, okay? Now let's start by making the crown of the hat. This will be like the head circumference, which is 23, and you will have to divide it by 6.28, which will give us 3.6 inches. So that is the radius that you're going to be working with. So after you fold your newspaper into four, like so, you're going to measure 3.6 inches from the corner of your paper. So watch what I'm about to do. After you mark the 3.6 inches, you're going to connect the dots like so and then cut it out carefully. So this will be the pattern for the crown of your bucket hat, okay? So this other part is called the body or the sideband and this is the part of the hat that wraps around your head, okay? So that's what we're going to create for now. So prepare your newspaper or pattern paper and let's do this. So in this section we are creating just a rectangle basically. So you're going to take the same head circumference measurement that you used earlier, mine was 23 inches remember, and then you're going to divide it by 2. So for me I got 11.5 inches and now we're going to be creating a rectangle which is 11.5 inches by 3 or 3.5 inches depending on the width you want your sideband to be.
So after creating that rectangle, I'm going to add a half an inch sewing allowance all around that pattern except for the part that I've written fold because that part is on fold. I'm going to explain later. So the next thing is I'm going to cut it out like so and then you'll have your sideband pattern. How easy was that? So if you find this tutorial easy just leave a comment down below and if you have any questions about the tutorial itself also leave a comment down below. You can ask any questions, you can leave any suggestions. And I will appreciate and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 500 subscribers and I'm really, really excited. So finally, let's work on the brim. So this is the part of the heart that shades your eyes from the sun. To start, you need to divide your head circumference by 3.142. Mine, my head circumference was 23, so I divided it by 3.142 and I got 7.3 inches. And that is what I am marking right now on the screen. And I'm going to mark it all around and connect the dots. Next, you're going to decide how wide you want the brim to be. So it is usually around 3 inches to 3.5 inches. Personally, I'm going to use 3.5 inches. And then I'm going to add this to the 7.3 inches, as you can see. And I'm going to mark it all around and connect the dots. I am going to mark my pattern. So this is the brim. So don't forget to mark your patterns. Okay, you can mark them A, B and C or you can mark them crown, body and brim, whatever you prefer. So the next thing I'm going to do is that point is going to be on fold. So I'm going to indicate that on the pattern paper. So that's going to be on fold like so. And then the rest I'm going to add a half an inch allowance all around except for the pattern fold okay and then I'm going to cut along these lines and you will be left with your brim pattern. Now let's take a look at what we have. You should have three pieces, okay? You should have the crown, you should have the body, and you should have the, the brim. As you can see, I have marked mine A, B, and C, and I have also marked them the crown, the body, and the brim. So these pieces will form the template for your bucket hat. So you can tip on some like cardboard if you want them sturdier so that um, you can use them multiple times or if you're making multiple hats okay so yeah and there you have it 
your very own custom bucket hat pattern made from scratch with just newspaper. So whether you're making one hat or a dozen, this pattern is ready to help you create something really unique. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more DIY content and let me know in the comment section um, what project you want to see next. So thank you for watching and happy crafting. This is the fabrics that I'm going to use on my next project. I'm going to attempt to make a patchwork um, bucket hat using the same pattern. So stick around and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!